If you've ever dreamed of living completely off the grid as a Project Zomboid survivor, the game in its current form doesn't make it easy for you. For example, something as simple as a tent kit takes finding a tarp and tent pegs, all of which aren't exactly easy to find. When I think of primitive survival, I'm thinking being able to craft crude items with your hands, not looting the local Dollar General for bowls. And while Lemmy and company have hinted that crafting will be getting an overhaul in the future, for now we'll have to depend on the Zomboid modding community to do the heavy lifting. In this video, I'm going to give over 10 Project Zomboid mods that will help you say goodbye to the city forever, or in the very least for a very long time, and hello to the great wide open outdoors. So let's jump right to it, okay? Actually, before I go there, there's one mod that I encourage everyone to try that has nothing to do with survival and everything to do with knowing what you will need ingredient-wise when you are playing around with these mods. Craft Helper. Craft Helper will let you see the recipes and generally makes life easier on you when you're dealing with mods that require things to build them. That branch you have in your hand, right-click it and you'll see every single thing you can do with that branch and what other items you'll need to do it with. At any rate, if there is one quality of life mod that I had to choose, and only one, this one would be it. Simply put, Craft Helper will help you understand what an unfamiliar mod is capable of. The first group of mods are survival crafting mods which can be used together, although I will say that some of their crafting capabilities kind of overlap each other. That said, I chose these together because each brings something unique crafting-wise to the game. They all work in relative harmony, and although there may be an error or two here or there, there's nothing that is deal-breaking. First up, Primitive Survival. If you could only choose one survival mod out of this list, Primitive Survival makes outdoor living just so much more doable. The mod corrects a couple flaws in the base game by giving you the ability to make a tent out of sheets, a sturdy stick, and ropes, something that I think should be in the base game. Additionally, you can make rope from bark strip, build a primitive backpack, as well as it adds a few tools that you would otherwise have to search for in the city, primarily a saw. You can also make chip stone from regular stone, which once again, I believe should be a quality of life feature in the base game. One thing to note here, a few of the recipes require corn as an ingredient, so therefore I'd probably add something like Soul Filcher's Farm Time to make complete use of all the recipes since at the moment you can't farm corn. Next up is Recipes Plus. Now there is a lot of redundancy between this mod and Primitive Survival, but what it does is it adds other options for making the same recipes with different ingredients. Recipes Plus focuses a lot more on the metalworking side of things, allowing you to create nails from scrap metal and needles from nails. It also adds a whole range of items you can tailor such as bags or sacks. On the survivalist side, you can also create your very own trowel or shovel when it is time to farm. Number three on this list is Zayden's Wilderness Recipes. Once again, quite a bit of crossover between this mod and Primitive Survival and Recipes Plus, but what stands out the most for Zayden's Wilderness Recipe is the ability to make wood nails and a screwdriver, which is one of the things that the other mods don't touch. With this mod and the other two, you can literally make yourself self-sufficient out of town without ever really heading into town. Number four on this list is Rugged Recipes, which adds more fermentations options as well as drying and preserving meat, something that our ancestors learned how to do to maximize and prevent their food supply from going bad. With this mod, you can lengthen out the time that it takes for food to rot, something really important considering there is no refrigeration out in the wild and Zomboid really doesn't take outside weather into account. One of the things that irks me is you can't add insects into things like stews or stir fries, and although the thought of eating a bug makes me vomit a little bit in my mouth, wouldn't cooked bugs be different? especially if mixed in with other ingredients. Enter insect ingredients, which allows you to create a pot filled with these critters along with whatever else you can forge. The good thing about this is that bug stew gets the same cooking benefits, i.e. more nutrition cooked, and a big pot of it won't fill your soul with unhappiness. Bon appetit! Every good survivalist is eventually going to have to figure out how to make clothes and other items. Enter ST Survival Tailor which allows you to not only make things like backpacks and utilities, but also scarves and denim jackets. You can also turn twine into rope and salvage leather from belts and holsters. The ability to make these items hinges on tailoring school, which will give survivors a reason to improve their tailoring. If you're like me and like to play with pitch black nights, then this mod will help you literally see the light. Torch is a simple mod that can replace a flashlight in a pinch with a simple sheet, a flame source, and a branch. 
If you are imagining yourself out in the wild outdoors wearing animal skin or loincloth to hide your man or lady bits, then look no further than Yaki's makeshift clothing. With Yaki's mod, you can turn a trash bag into a shirt or collect enough leather and animal skin to make yourself fur boots or shirt or pants. Yaki's mod also allows you to create dyes to color your newly made ensemble as well. There's perhaps nothing more satisfying than drawing back a bow and shooting a zombie in the eye. Unfortunately, you can't do this in the vanilla game of Project Zomboid just yet. Enter Bow and Arrow. This mod allows you to make a bow, make arrows, and has a very nice animation when you shoot the bow. It also adds the archery trait, which will give you a bow and 20 arrows to start with. And you can salvage some of the parts when the arrows break, such as an arrowhead and quiver, and create more arrows. As an aside, if you're looking for a crossbow mod, Kitsune's crossbow mod is an option as well. I could do a whole video of what this mod pack can do, but for now, I'll focus on the survival elements that Snake's mod pack adds. In particular, the hunting, fishing, and climatology modules within the mod pack. Snake's mod pack adds a new hunting trait to the mix in which with binoculars, the right gun, or slingshot, a little bit of deep forest, and a little luck, you could bag a deer or a bear. Snake's mod pack also adds a ton of fishing options with new fish, hooks, bobbers, and whatnot, and finally if you can find the climatology mag, you can use it to fully understand the weather around you as to when it's the best time to fish or hunt. A couple things to note here if you want to give this mod a shot. First off, if you're using any other gun mods, it is likely the hunting part will not work, so it's best if you keep it with vanilla guns. To hunt with a gun, you need the vanilla rifles and a scope with at least times 4 power. Secondly, the hunting skill is a learn skill, much like carpentry or metalworking, so you'll need to work on it like any other skill before you can hope to bag the big game. One of the challenges to primitive survival, at least in the beginning, is finding a place to camp where fresh water is freely available. With the current Project Zomboid map, there are only a few to choose from, but this mod changes things. If you're stowed away deep in the forest without a water source, then Wells Construction will be right up your primitive survival alley. Wells Construction basically adds the ability to construct a well for fresh water. In order to create the well, you simply need to have read the book before the pipelines, and all you need is a shovel, metal pipe, and a bunch of forged stone and a hammer. Well, that's a wrap, y'all. 11 Project Zomboid mods that will allow you to live your best life far away from the city. My name is Drunk on Life. If you have any other primitive survival mods to suggest, leave them in a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe for more Project Zomboid content and leave a like on your way out, please. Until next time, goodbye.